That's the ride, my man. Hey, Molly. I'm outside the studio. All right. Go over the wall and find the car on the lot. And then what? Only the principal actors and stunt people are authorized to go near it. So, you could get in wardrobe and play the part or try something else. All right. When you're out of there and clear of studio security, call me. They need you on set. Where the hell is Brandon? Jesus, are you gonna find him? Someone's gonna find him! Where is my movie star? Where is my movie star? At least get him a mask, or makeup, or something. Anyone know who this guy is? Is this the new stun guy? Stop him, you idiot! I've got to get some control of this set! Get me a sword, my man! Brandon? What is going on? What are you doing? Is this a kidnapping? Pull over, creepo! Get off the wheel! I need to get the fuck out of here! Studio security are shutting your ass down, wacko! They ain't gonna be on us for long! Is this an abduction? Nah, you cool? What's this? Spikes? No, I'm not cool! I'm not cool! Not at all! I mean, chill out! I'm just interested in the whip! What do you mean, the whip? Yeah, <laughs> shit, man! He ain't coming back! What do you mean, the whip? I could drive this car with what I make in the morning! I think you underestimating the value of this automobile. Or overestimating your own talent. Uh, I think you're underestimating what I get paid. You get paid a couple million for a morning's work? Ah, straight! Couple million for a morning's work? Shit, I should sack my agent. Yeah, shit. Get on the other side of the road! Damn, what's this button do? If you have the car, bring it to Hayes Auto in South LS. Mr. Weston is marathon training, but he can reconfigure his route to meet you there. All right, cool. I got the car. No drama. That's good. The studio is enough of a money sink without the costs that that drama can bring. What kind of shape is the car in? We plan on refitting the guns to take live ammunition. Do the traffic spikes and ejector seat need replacing, too? Uh, both of those are going to need replacing, all right? Good. One more thing. Mr. Weston's security detail are concerned about a suspicious figure near the garage. Let us know if you see something. Developing quite the rep there, Slick. Insurance companies hate these kinds of claims. They don't like cats with the inside edge shorten them either. So how'd it go? Smooth enough, you know. Movie people. You know what the irony is? I'm a major shareholder in that same studio, so we just did is practically legal. Ha! Practically. Ooh, shit! 
Look at this motherfucker. You doing it big, my nigga, on the set. Lamar, what the fuck are you doing here? Oh, chirped your boy Trevor. It's fucked up when you gotta get your GPS location on your homeboys through a motherfucking speed freak. True that. Devin Weston, master of the two-hour female orgasm. What it is, Holmes? Lamar Davies. He was just leaving. Hey, not on my account. You looking for gainful employment, homie? Hell yeah, I'm always trying to get some motherfucking paper. Just the type of guy I like to work with. Predictable. Hey, we could bring your boy here in on the last part of the shipment. Oh, yeah, nigga, that's exactly what you could do. That's exactly Hell what you yeah. could do right man, there, look, man. Exactly. If you want him in, then you get him to boost the rest of the shit you got. Oh. Give me my money and I can go on oh, with my motherfucking oh. life. Oh, no, am I sensing tension here, Slick? <gasps> He's the spirit, but you're the brains. Am I wrong? I can see it. Look, I need you on point when we move this stuff out of town. Yeah, whatever, man. Call me when it's done. And after this, make sure we got our motherfucking check, all right? Ciao, baby. It is what it is. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, come here. I'm gonna put you in touch with my legal counsel. Hey, hey, don't touch me, homie. I don't get down like that. Yeah, let me tell you how the world works, Slim. Can I get a cab out to me? Stay where you are. I got a driver right around the corner. I'll be here. Brother, here we are. How the fuck are you? It's fucking wicked. Where you at, man? Your house is empty. Ah, oh, hey. I had to kind of lay low for a while. Yeah, that nice Mexican we met. Me and T did that job for him, and we fell out. You gotta be joking. I wish I was. So where you at now? <sighs> Desert, out by Alamo Sea. All right, well, I'll hit you if I find anything. Absolutely. Uh, oh, hey, Trevor's got his wife. Trevor's got a wife? No, no, the Mexican's wife. What? <laughs> What to say about that one? Nothing. Nothing to say about that. Run! Run! I'm back! Coming, Trevor! Come bring me my coffee, I'm gonna cut your arm off. Absolutely! Who the hell's that? Your maid? Oh, business partner. Good guy. Very loyal. Ron, Ron, that is Michael. And this is Patricia. <laughs> Ah, <sighs> listen, I'm beautiful. You know, I'm sorry about everything that's happened, and that, you know, I can't guarantee no harm's gonna come to you. I might have to chop you up into little pieces before spraying your pulp mess down the drain, but I really hope it doesn't come to that. I appreciate your honesty. You are a good man. I can see that. You need your eyes examined, then. Ron, you miss me? Yeah, Trevor, a bit, I mean. How's the fucking business? I, I, I tried. If you're gonna give me a sob story, I'm gonna rip your fucking throat out and shove a turd down the hole. It's not a sob story. It's just not quite come good yet. But I heard about something to do with Merriweather. Mm, those assholes Big yeah. cache of weapons they got coming in. So I thought you might want to, uh, requisition it. Fantastic! Let's go! Come in. Whoa, no, 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 not you. Sit down. You're a wanted man. Stay low. 
And watch her, okay? She's a good lady. Let's go, Ron. Good to meet you, Michael. Fucking come on, let's go! <sighs> the weapons are coming in by air. We've got a plane over at the airstrip, but... Right, let's go! What are you going to do? We're not going to take out a private army on the ground, Ron. we got to meet them in the air. Uh, well, okay. Well, I knew that you were pissed after the Merriweather heist, giving back the hardware. That was bullshit. Right, right. So I've been monitoring chatter, tapping into Merriweather networks. Merriweather networks. Feels good to be back in the company of a professional. I gotta say, I got it. Now, I was expecting something a little more impressive. The late, great Michael Townley. Not so late and not so great, right? And no longer called Townley. The years have not been terribly kind. What's the end game, man? We had a good thing going without him. If it's such a good thing, where's my money, huh? Where's my consultancy and my big fat dividend? I want a franchise network, Ron. I want reward cards and merchandise. I want to make gun violence and drug dependency accessible to every man and beast. Excuse me. Crop duster? That's the best we can do? Get in touch with my Mexican contact. Tell him we got some guns to sell. I'll get you on the radio! leader.
Ronald! Ronald! You there? Control of this. You got a drop, man. They're on their screens. Altitude's just fine, Ron. Are you sure about this, T? Most certainly. These bricks, Merriweather, they're what? Using these guns for a coup in West Africa? Protecting some mineral-rich warlord? Confiscating the weapons is practically a public service. Karmically, I'm... We're golden! What's not to be sure about? When you put it like that... Handle your end, okay? Find the hive's gonna draw attention! You're on the radar, Trevor. Lose altitude. Altitude corrected. You're in Los Santos International Airspace now. You are clear to gain altitude. Identify yourself and state your intent. This is Captain T in a 1989 crop duster. Just enjoying the beautiful San Andreas weather. Unidentified aircraft. Divert your course or we will be forced to shoot you down. Really? Shoot me down? Well, that seems a little extreme, doesn't it? Final warning. Divert or you will be grounded. I'm going to take my chances, pal. We are now landing at Mackenzie Field. Changing frequency. Over. Ron! Ron, you there? I got the jet. You with the buyers? We're here, T. Awaiting your arrival. Field. We can discuss this there, on the dirt, 
like men. Trevor! Shit, are you okay? I saw the plane go down. I survived, and Lizard Army didn't do so well, so that's something. Ah, oh, thank God. The fuselage went into the Alamo Sea. You might be able to salvage the hardware with dive gear or something. Ah, oh, good idea. But it'll take time. Tell Oscar he ain't getting these guns. Okay, look, I gotta ask. Are you in with the federal government? An agent, Sanchez, was round here saying you and Michael had to meet his supervisors at the garage, the cook site. Fuck, I gotta do this, okay? But I'm using them, all right? They, they ain't using me. Let's make that clear. Can I get a cab ASAP? No problem. I'll have one there in a couple of minutes. I'll be here. Sandy Shores. All right, let's hit the... This is the spot, right?
Oh, nice place you got here. Oh, yeah, it's easy to mock, isn't it, huh? Cheap and fucking easy. <laughs> but uh, this, this here is my place, and my work paid for my place. All right, relax. I was just being sarcastic. Yeah, well, don't be, all right? Because the world doesn't need any more sarcasm. It's the blight of the age. Yeah, I get the point. You, you don't get the point. You're like every other asshole. You made a bit of money, and you became a turd. I got news for you. I was always a turd. No! You weren't, man. You were something. But now, man, you know, you're like this the place. You're a shell. Go fuck yourself. Are you some kind of pure, morally justifiable asshole? What, because you're, you're, you're totally psychotic somehow it's okay? I'm honest, all right? You're the hypocrite. Oh, yeah, you're a fucking hero. So far above it all. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm not above ripping open your fucking chest to see what's replaced your heart. Rip it open. See what's there, baby, because I'm ready. Hello? Oh, ladies, ladies, what's up? Fuck off! Listen. I'm sorry, but we've got a problem. Government funding thing. We need you to, uh, uh, investigate a research lab upstate. It's about terrorism, the big one, nerve gas, biological terror. Thank God I don't pay tax. Uh, listen, you'll need some fairly standard gear. Boat, tandem rotor heavy lift helicopter, truck, weapons. You'll have to source all of that. <laughs> Chopper alone will set you back a couple of mil. Oh, no worries there. Trevor here, he just came into a lot of money. Is that sarcasm? Oh, you're fucking A right at sarcasm. You fuck. A few weeks ago, I was happily retired, sulking by my swimming pool. And my psychotic best friend shows up out of nowhere to torture me over mistakes I made, honest mistakes I made over a decade ago. We, our little posse, are flat fucking broke. But hey, let's go out and spend two million dollars on a tandem rotor fucking chopper so I can go steal nerve gas from fucking terrorists. Forgive me, you ignorant fuck. But sarcasm is all I fucking got. Sarcasm and a room full of you cunts. Yes. Woo. Welcome back, man. It is the old you. Yeah, 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 well, we gotta go. It's been great, but Dave here's got a Pilates class. Now remember, ladies, you keep us way out of this thing. Bye-bye. Ah, -bye. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. All right, I'll give Lester a fucking call. He said he knew about something. Now you tell him that we're driving towards Polito Bay. Come on, you're driving us up to the bank. Let me call Lester. What now? We got a funding problem, so we need a job. Before the jewel store, you talked about a score, a, a bank in the sticks. I need you to meet us there. Polito Bay, right? That's the one. I'll get on a bus. All right, Lester's meeting us there. Don't start. I won't. No way. Good call. If you're taking down a bank for a few million, the first thing you do is call the hospital and tell them to get you a guy in a wheelchair. Oh, this Hayseed Bank, you gonna be carrying that kind of change? Local law enforcement extort money from all the weed farms, whorehouses, meth kitchens in the area. They keep their cash in safe deposit boxes. Then there's all the normal small town payroll stuff. We should do well. You know, I've been thinking about you, Trevor. Your lifestyle. Oh, yeah. Really? Yes, I have. People always try to label you. You know? Maniac, psycho, friend, industry leader. Well, in some ways, you defy categorization. But then, what? Think about it. Where you live. Sandy Shores, you precious ass. I'm sorry there ain't a place nearby for you to get your colonics. Right. But why are you out here? It's off the grid. We're away from it all. 
It's somewhere real and authentic. This is America! And real people ain't been priced out yet. Yeah, but well, what if it gets gentrified? Then I'll fucking move. Okay. What about the way you dress? What about it? I don't give a shit what I wear. No, no, no. If you don't give a shit, you wear clean clothes that fit. So yours are all a little out there. You know, a little wacky. Whatever's in the shop is what I get. Jesus, what, what is this? It's not an absence of taste, D. It's the opposite of taste. You should be a stylist. And then there's the tattoos. The hair. The weird music. The funny toys. The niche drugs. The everything. What the fuck are we talking about? You are a hipster. What? You're a hipster. I hate hipsters. Classic hipster denial. I abhor hipsters. I eat them for fun. <laughs> hipsters love saying they hate hipsters. What I really fucking do? Self-hatred. Common hipster affliction. Why, well, be because I'm living out here away from the bean machines and the bankers. You're gentrifying. Soon, the skinny jeans will show up, then the skinny lattes, and then the bankers. And you'll be somewhere else, starting the cycle all over again. Maybe you're not a classic garden variety hipster, but you're what the hipsters aspire to be. The bus stops up here. All right. How long does it take us to get out here from LS? Come on, man, knock it off. What? I'm gonna break your fucking fingers, you don't knock that shit off. Well, please, all right? You'd alleviate the boredom. Ah, finally. Hey. 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 Welcome to paradise. Come on, car's this way. It's dry out here. Don't worry, brother. Mike will take care of all your moisturizing needs. Mm. Oh. Shall we? Might as well get started. Okay, let's take a look at this bank. I will go to the front of the bank, clock the entrance. If the paperwork's correct, the alarm will be a relic. We should be in and out before the local PD knows what's happening. <laughs> That's the entrance to the bank. Nothing special. It'll take us around back. Okay. There's an empty lot behind, and no one should pay attention to us back there. I like it. Man, the place is remote. It's got the right amount of foot traffic. This'll do. Hmm. It's not ideal. It's gonna cost more to break that system than the score is gonna pay. Well, we're gonna have to find a new score. No, 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 uh-uh, no, no. This is the score. Right? What are our options? It's a dumb idea, but we could trigger the alarm, see what kind of response they throw out. That is a dumb idea. Hey, you heard the man, all right? Shoot the sucker. Okay, I brought my police scanner to drive over to the gas station opposite the bank and we'll monitor chatter. All right. This is Toledo Base Security Services Frequency. We have a code 30 Adam. Alarm going off at Blaine County Savings Bank. All cars in the area, please respond. Toledo cars 3, 6, 9, and 1 will be there in 50 seconds. Roger that. Four units. Backup team at station is available. Uh, they've dispatched four cars in 60 seconds and more on standby. And it isn't even 30 Victor or shots fired. Oh, this is a real headache. What do you got on the clock? 40 seconds. This is Polito Security. Any updates on the Code 30 Adam? Backup ready to mobilize. This is not normal. The response is out of proportion. Cops in this county are dirty. And the alarm just went off on their piggy bank. 
This is them. What is that, a 67 second response time? Yeah, four cars, more in the wings. Bad cops, garden dirty money, fuck how many, we can take this. Wait right here, we'll see if anything about their routine suggests a weakness. Polito Radio, this is Polito Car 3. We have a code 12, false alarm, possibly triggered intentionally. Roger that. We're gonna set up checkpoints on the Great Ocean Highway and the Sonora Freeway. Car to car searches and record checks. Checkpoints? Searches? Fuck this! I ain't getting caught because Lester needs a wheelchair. Hey! Wheelchair or not, we're still faster than your ass! Well, I'm not gonna outrun a cop. We've gotta go. We're going. And if we're in front of Trevor, He'll be the one running from the cops. Hey, um, we needed to go to the doctor. Trevor Phillips, they ain't beating me across it. Hey. You know I don't. I shouldn't have come. I should have known. We're fine. We're gonna get out of here. Trevor Phillips, of course this would turn into a car chase. We're not being chased. Not yet. Not at all. Look, take a deep breath. We're gonna be fine. We just gotta get back to... Trevor's office? When Trevor says office, he really means... Get off the road up here. This must be Trevor's route through the mountains. Ah, dirt track. Might get bumpy. A burnout gas station by the Alamo Sea? I've seen the title of ownership, and judging by the glassware he ordered a year ago, I'm guessing it's a meth lab. A meth lab! Just perfect! Laboratory don't do it justice. It's more of a shithole where meth is made. Great! Nothing like a pharmaceutical bakery to prep the perfect stick-up job. Don't worry. It's gonna be fun. Look, you had any ideas about the bank? Are you sure we can't disable the alarm? The alarm is a UXVF-111 classification, minute-long relay interval, third-party verification, multiple monitoring centers. Sure, I can disable it. But? But it'll cost more than the job is worth. Of course it will. So, what do we do? We walk away. It's not like we need the money. Looks like the road takes a dip and a turn after that bridge. Slow down. Uh, about that. You've been day trading? No, God, no. I mean, yeah, 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 I've been trading, but no, that's not why we need the money. Then why do you need the money? <laughs> All right, so, there's this research laboratory on the coast. The IAA are using it to manufacture a poison gas that they're gonna release on U.S. soil in order to hope that the government increases their funding. Well, that sounds idiotically improbable enough to be possible, but what's it got to do with you and Trevor sticking up the Blaine County Savings and Loan? Agent Steve Haynes needs two million plus to finance a raid on the lab. And guess who's doing the raid? And guess who's paying for it? Ah, I see. Yeah, well, I don't really see, but I'm doing it. And it sounds like Trevor would hit this bank for candy and a pat on the head. Now tell me, can we do it? Or do we move on? Now you can do it, but you can't do it clean. How messy are we talking? Taking the cops head on, messy. Well, they are dirty cops. That's what Trevor says. So do you think we can do it? Guys out here aren't trained like the LSPD. They aren't going to be prepared for a well-armed, well-drilled team coming straight for them. Yeah, well, we need an edge. Something to tip the odds in our favor. Yeah, I got a couple ideas. <laughs> All right. We got here before the Lord of the Manor. <laughs> the man slows me down. Always has. What took you so long? What took you so long? Set up a board over here. Oh. Michael, man, your blood sugars are low. I'm making you some leftovers. I'm fine, T. Huh? No, I'm the host, man. 
You know, I don't want you to get hungry and moody, all right? Then you're gonna be making the wrong decisions. I mean, I've been making wrong decisions my whole life. That's how I ended up here. There you go. Bon appetito. Jesus Christ, Trevor, what is that? What's wrong with you? That's just a, a what? An eyelid. That's probably not even human. Unless that gas station job. Gentlemen, some plans for your attention? Oh, good. I'm gonna stay here a minute longer than I have to. So I think our little uh, experiment showed that the response will be too quick to beat and too strong to walk through. That means you gotta face the cops head on. Dirty cops. Uh, the dirty cops head on. Head on. Man, I don't know. Well, you'll be prepared. Convoys carrying military-grade hardware pass near here to get to Fort Zancudo. I propose hijacking one and using the equipment to get an edge on the locals. I can get you the exact details of the shipment as soon as we're done here. Anyway, you won't be outside the bank too long. Polito Bay is, well, it's a bay. So you're a street away from the water where Franklin can be waiting in a boat to get you out of there. I know none of this is ideal, but it's the only way I can see of taking the score and providing for your FIB paymasters. Fine. We need personnel? Just a gunman. He'll be taking on the cops with you, so my advice, choose someone good. Uh, think about my buddy's chef, okay? Consummate professional. That it? You sure? That should do. I'll get the equipment together. Michael, you reach out to Franklin. Trevor, mm -hmm. you do what you do. Roger that. I'll call you when we're ready to move on this. Mm, you want to bunk with us? I mean, it's going to be tight, but, you know, me cost a shoe cost on it. I'll get a motel. Thanks. All right, sure. Come on, I'll give you a ride. Adios, amigos. Hmm? Franklin, buddy, what's up? Hey, look, there's these redneck dudes been looking for you, homie. Some angry motherfuckers. I found where they stay, man, and I've been following them. Okay, well, it's gotta be the O'Neill brothers. <laughs> what's left of them? I'll pick up Michael and we'll come to you. T, hey, man. Hey, Jimmy, it's your dad. Listen, if you get this, can you give me a ring? Tell your mom, too, will ya? And Tracy. Please, son. Your daddy's been a bad boy. Uh, please, son. <laughs> you want a sniff? The fuck is wrong with you? <gasps> oh. <laughs> now, see, the way I see it, this country was built by and for gasoline. So I'm just trying to prove my patriotic duty by, you know, doing this stuff. <laughs> oh, man. It's cheap, but it's good. Gasolina? No. <laughs> wow. Sorry, Mrs. M. Jesus. Mikey, you want a beer? Oh, shit, I'm sorry I don't have any low car. Oh, fuck <laughs> you. Uh, where'd you two go when you went out, you and your boyfriend? Why do you care? I don't care. Just trying to conversate. Well, I was out putting some people in their place. Ah, you know, there's more to this gig than just going crazy all the time, killing everyone in sight. Just because I like the life and you feel guilty about it doesn't make you more of a man than me. And you know what? Deep down, I know you believe the bullshit, 
The picket fences, the fucking happy endings. And your street philosopher bullshit, that's gotten you real far. Oh yeah, you've achieved perfect balance. Balance? <laughs> you've gone. Man, 10 years in the sun, your brain has melted. You, you say words that have no meaning. What is balance, huh? Huh? Did I fucking kill only on the weekends? So Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I'm doing yoga and meditation. Tuesdays and Thursdays, hookers and sticking up joints, huh? You call me mad? Fuck, compared to you, I'm the sanest motherfucker I know. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh. sane, 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 oh, okay. sane. I am so fucking sane that I should open a fucking mental health clinic. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, fuck, now you're gonna stop being an asshole? I don't know, but I'll try. Well, that, I like your honesty on. I uh, spoke to Franklin. Why? Unlike you, he hears that his homie's having trouble, right? And he has no problem coming to help. So you're ensuring that we lie low? Out here, by calling LS and inviting a known accomplice of ours you know to what? come out here, what, for a little visit? That is so fucking typical of you. So typical. You don't even ask about the trouble. You instantly think about yourself. You're right. I did do that. I apologize. It's not good enough. I'm leaving, huh? I might die. Hope you're happy. Right. Hey, I'm coming with you. No. Yes, I am. No. If nothing else than to get out of this fucking dump. You're not going. Have fun, boys. Oh, I'm going. Make sure you don't. Don't fuck stay it up. out too late. What is Franklin doing for you anyway? He's tailing some guys, Mikey. Tailing. If he's back in Sandy Shores, why didn't I hear about him? God damn it! Shit! They see us, man. We gotta stay on. That's right, Chop. We're gonna fuck them up as soon as Trevor get here. Hey, man, me and Chop own these punks. We coming up to WH, north of Chuma. All right, all right, the O'Neill brothers are coming to us. I think they was about to send one of them anti-tank rockers into your Vespucci condo when one of your roomies told them that you was gone. Okay, so if you're on the WH, that means you'll be coming through Ratton Canyon, right? Shit, I guess. Good. Me and MT are gonna take the company chopper and meet you there. Company chopper, yes, Michael, it's a tax write-off. Frank, you still there? Yeah, I'm just about holding on to the road. We're taking the chopper and we'll head you off. Deal with these business stealing pricks on the road. Hey, dog, can you, like, get on it? Because these dudes is rolling hard. We're five minutes out from the chopper. All right. Fucking hell! Shit, shit, shit! Get on me! Hey, let's roll on this fool, Chop. Do it. Oh, shit! Trevor, man, shit, you there? There was a deer in the road, man. These motherfuckers crashed out. They crashed? They dead? No, nah, they gone. They ran into the fucking woods, man. I need air support like right fucking now. Don't worry. Incoming! Incoming? Man, you're all business. Yeah, well, this is kind of important. These men don't like me, and they know we're back in the sandy shore, so... Here she is, the Biz Alley. Remember, she ain't mine, she's the company's.
Look, why do these guys, the O'Neills, want you dead anyway? There was a deal. A contract to end all contracts. Serious multinational stuff. I was this close! And they stole it off me. Ho -ho Hold up. If they stole your business, why do they want you dead? Wow! Ah, what's with all the questions? Can't you just take my side for once? Hey, I'm coming along for the ride, ain't I? Yeah, but I sense your heart ain't in it. Yeah, I'm lucky my heart ain't in a pie on your kitchen table. Always with the quips. You're such a depressing cynic. Oh, poor Trevor. I'm sorry I'm a human being with thoughts and feelings and emotions. Wait a second. I remember this chopper. We used this to break into the IAA building. You stole it from the FIB? Not so. I took it in lieu of payment. There was a rifle on board, too, so if your panties aren't all in a twist over stolen office supplies... Hey, hey! We here on the ground. Them hick dudes in the woods. That model's fitted with a thermal scope. Look for their heat signatures. Check the river. They might be trying to float out of here. Unless Moose had started walking on two legs, brought his ass down, can't outrun a bullet, baby! We gotta keep looking! Uh, yeah, he looks like a human being. You wanna show mercy to the last of these innocents? Fight! There's something! Fuck! Me! Incoming! It's on you, homie. You know what Hicks smell like. Uh, Frank, you wanna do me a favor here? Find him before he blows me to pieces. Don't worry, man. We got this. If you swimming, I am too. Fuck. This water is cold as a motherfucker. I felt that. We close. You going down, you asshole! Tear him up! Tear up that bitch! My brother! You... Last guy's done, homie! All right! Stay there! We'll come down and pick you up! All right, now that the angry hillbillies with rockets are dead, is there anyone else we should worry about trying to kill you? Oh! Yeah, there's some bikers, the Chinese, Madrezo's people, but whatever. Don't act like you're so popular. Get it! Get it! All right, back to the airfield. You know the airfield's mine, don't you? Oh, yeah. You can afford a runway, but you can't afford to move out of that corrugated metal death shack. So how you guys doing? Well, we're alive. Hey, good work down there. I'm the one who says thank you. He was helping me. Thank you, Franklin. Yeah, it's cool, homie. And thank you, Chop. <laughs> hey, are you gonna tell us exactly what we were helping with? I know you said these guys stole some business, but that doesn't really explain why they wanted you dead. Oh. Uh. Didn't I say what happened after they stole the contract? Nope, you didn't. Ugh. I went to their farm and I killed a lot of them and then I blew it up. Killed a lot of them? Yes! I think that was Elwood, Walton, and Wynn who we killed just then. I killed Ernie, Earl, Dale, Doyle, Daryl, Dalton, and Don, and a few other guys when I blew up the farm. So, maybe this was kind of a revenge thing. I don't know. Let's not forget that I'm the wrong party here. Yeah. You are definitely the wrong party. Oh, for 
feel good, huh? Helping a friend in need? Come on, Chop. Come on. Oh, yeah. Taking out some hillbilly crank dealers on a blood feud. That's what I live for. Hey, Trev, man, we're gonna borrow this and head back to town. Sure. Come on, Michael, man. I'll drop your ass off on the way back. Chop, get in. See you back in Castle Phillips, Mike. Yeah, thanks for the warning. You know, I've been thinking about it, and I'm not quite sure if I'm ready to accept an apology. Where is my wife? Patricia doesn't want to speak to you. Frankly, neither do I. I will find you! Okay. Well, I'll put some coffee on that. I'll see you soon. We did it! La 
Lester the molester, bro. We got ourselves some military hardware. It's parked out back in my office. All right. We might be ready to move on this thing. Meet me up in the lab. It's, it's, it's not inappropriate. It's... It's another one of your fucking disasters. That's what it is. First you take a hostage against my advice, and then you start some kind of crazy high school romance with her. Are you nuts? She's... She's a 60-year-old housewife. Ah, she's 57. And she thinks that I'm mature. Yeah, well, let me tell you something. 30 years of marriage to the world's angriest mob boss ah. would make anyone insane. You're not making my situation any easier. Oh, there's a surprise. I knew it would become about you. I miss my family. Oh, you're full of shit. All you ever did was ignore them. And now that they're gone, you miss them. Fucking incredible. I'll tell you what's incredible. Fucking incredible. Hey. You mother... Hey! What? You know, you got me out here. You wrote me into your crazy world of bullshit. If it was lies, new age shit, and arguments about how good life used to be, I could have stayed my ass in Los Santos. Hello, Franklin. What's up? All right. Here's the shot. We're going to Palato Bay, and we're gonna do this thing. Any questions, comments? Yeah. I miss Brad. That crazy motherfucker was with us now. He would have loved this. Instead, he's gotta enjoy himself molesting white-collar criminals in a federal penitentiary. Thanks for sharing. Anybody else? What about me? You'll be waiting for them by the river, handling the getaway. All right. Now, these three go in, you grab the tape, they rendezvous with you, and you get out of there. Is that a uh, work for everyone? Great, let's go. Let's get this done. Alito Bay. You ever hit a bank before, Franklin? Yeah, I was the driver on the job my boy Lamar pulled. Guess it's the same kind of shit we doing now, right? Nice, bro. What was the take? Shit, I don't know, man. I can't remember. Come on. Everyone remembers their first score. Uh, shit, not me. Huh? Mikey, bro, what was your first bank score? 88, outskirts of Carcer City. Took a small franchise for 10G. Yeah, things were easier back then. Yeah, 25 years ago. Jesus! Jeff, will you tell these gentlemen about your first job? T, man. You could just as easily. You tell them. I'll do a sanity check. Trevor, the ultimate judge of sanity. Well, it was uh, part of the interview process, I guess is how you'd call it. Trevor knew I could cook, wanted to see if I could handle myself. This cash for gold guy comes through town the reason he had funds. Next thing, we're burying him and his bodyguard in the junkyard. Well, most of them, anyhow. 50K. He did fine. He's better at all aspects of the job now, from killing to dismemberment. Hey, your turn to share, kid. I told you I don't remember the details, man. Leave him alone, Trevor. This is an important moment, Michael. Here we are, on our way to almost certain death, bonding. Pouring our hearts out, and this guy is sitting here, soaking it up and giving nothing in return. Hey, if he don't remember... If he don't remember? I'm supposed to trust this man with my life, and he don't trust me with the details of his first bank job? Well, how about you? Why don't you share with the group? I'm here. I'll back the facts. The check's cash place? I went in, took him for eight grand, walked out. <laughs> It was a bit more complicated than that, though, wasn't it, T? Maybe I knew the guy. Maybe he ID'd me. Maybe you did six months. Maybe I was out in four, and that, children, is why we don't leave witnesses. That, children, is why you don't rob people that you know! <laughs> ah. Franklin, Cher? Yeah, come on, kid. It can't be worse than Trevor's. All right, man, shit. Okay, 
The score was like two stacks, man. Two G? Take home on your first gig? Fuck, that ain't bad, man. Man, the whole score was two stacks. Only I didn't see none of that shit. Dive pack went off, homie. Money was useless then. Dive pack? <laughs> you amateur! I knew I shouldn't have told you shit. Hey, Franklin, we all gotta start somewhere. Last time I tell your ass something. Ow, oh, come on. <laughs> Don't be so cool, man. Learn to laugh at yourself. You're in danger of turning into this man. Who, me? Yeah, you. Wouldn't laugh, wouldn't hang out. <laughs> I've got my work, I've got my life. I never the two shall meet. <laughs> if we're risking our asses, we gotta be family. How about that, die back? All right, Frank, we're gonna drop you up here, okay? When you hear it kick off, Get ready, because we're gonna wanna go ASAP. I'm gonna get away, man. I'll do it. All right, you know where you gotta be? I got it down. I'll bring a die pack just for you! We ready for this? I could use a restroom break. And risk getting ID'd. You're an idiot. All right, we all good? Let's hit them! We, uh, doing this? We want a few minutes of your time! Get down! Today's going one of two ways, friends! Everyone on the floor! Now! You and you! Out from behind the counter! That's it! Hands in the air! You getting off on this, little man? F, keep an eye on our trusted employee! Okay, you got the crowd. Cops should be here soon, Just so keep this out. out! Doors ready to pop! Come kick it in, M! If I ever meet this alarm guy, I'm gonna fucking shoot him. Not if I get to him first. Yeah. Stay back! We got hostages! Shit. Tell the sheriff the 211 is confirmed. We're gonna need everything we got down here. <laughs> Sheriff's here. We never could have beaten that response. There's other ways of beating it. Move in! Call up procedure! I don't care if they surrender. I'm killing me some bad guys. Now let the hostages go, and uh, we'll talk like gentlemen. Time to face the music. Sweet mother of shit. Think it is? Ain't we doing this game to buy one of them? 
them choppers! They got the... It's too heavy! You wanna play dead? We won't be playing! Hey, hey! Through here! Right along! Ah! Fine! Ah! Oh, we've got a lot of weight! Ah, shit! The fucking army! I knew Brick had connections to the military! I'm a conscientious objector, you damn it! War army? This is why our defense spending is as much as the rest of the world combined! You wanna fight someone? Fight the Anunnaki! I'm not your enemy, soldier! TTT, T, T, man! They're flying in the tank! We gotta move it! Like right now! How about I push this way while you leave with Franklin? Then we get out separate. Sounds like a plan. T, your guy's good. Hey, I know how it's paying out for another idiot. We hold the army off. We wait for Franklin. Sit tight, man. Hey, here we go. You okay? I ain't dead yet. I'm on my way. <laughs> The bank robber's in the other direction! So I guess we shooting our way out of here! You in the road, man! Out of the way, man! Hey, you blocking the wrong road, man! Hey, what have I done? We out the way! Fucking this up! Where you at, kid? Listen to the shoot! Game point ain't tough! We're holding here! It's getting hairy over here! It's hairy over here too, man! Kill! Oh! Over here! Hey, man! There's a ride! Good kid! Go, 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 go! Kid, I got the armor. I'm starting to feel under dress, dog. Die, you prick. Use me as cover, Frank. You don't want to get out front. You holding on, Ep? I need to get the back Fuck off already. Team, uh, come in. I'm trying to hold these guys. Where are you? We got to do a chicken factory to get away from the tanks. You're still alive? Cover now. Oh, more army showing up! No. Hold them down! The, fuck the, wrong the train! It's our only shot! There's some guys trying to get in here. Chef's holding them off. Might give us the window we need to jump a train. Hey, let's get that train. I think they think there's more than one of me. They're pulling back. 
Okay. Hey, slip out of town and call Lester for instruction. I got news. You're wasting a Trevor Phillips ink, my friend. Chef caught us a break, people. Let's get our train. Let's hop the train. Come on. Here we go. Right here. Get on. Let's go. Yo, uh, easy, easy. I'm a friendly. Agent Sanchez. Our very own corrupt G-man in training. You gotta be careful, buddy, all right? Because they are uh, looking around these trains for illegals. And if you're mistaken, <laughs> you'll be shot, amigo. Very amusing. Yeah, if you're expecting them two to bring you up, you're gonna be disappointed, homie. Right back at you. Got the money? Everything we got. Okay, and here's your cut. Considering present scrutiny on public worker remuneration, this is a big win. Oh yeah, that's a huge fucking win. Woo! Monsters. I'm out. Agent Haynes will get in touch with you once operation Save the Worlds ago. Get your crew together, okay? Fucking punk. All right. We should probably split up. They're gonna be looking for a three. Oh, the blood we spill for the security of this country. Come on, Franklin. Man, I'll holler at you home. Right. Fuck. Seek up. Serious. up here. I've clearly made some very bad decisions. Trevor about? He's probably out somewhere drinking human blood or eating household pets. <laughs> He's not that bad. Really? Well, okay, he is pretty bad. But he's got a sensitive side. Oh, yes, he's very sensitive. When he gets his feelings hurt, he's devastated. So what's your story? I ain't got a story. I'm an independent thinker. Living out here, away from the man. From what I can tell, you're like a high school athlete. Living off old glories. You used to be able to manage heat. And now, you're worried if your loafers are getting scuffed. Any more bullshit comes out of your mouth, you're gonna learn all about my past glories firsthand. You understand? <laughs> Absolutely, sir. That came out wrong, all wrong. Tell Trevor the monthly train is coming through. What monthly train? The monthly train. Where have you two been? Getting some fresh air. Talking of beautiful things. <laughs> yes, I hear Stockholm Syndrome is very nice this time of year. Oh, hey, watch your mouth, boy, all right? It's always been a dream of ours. The train of dreams. The hell are you talking about? I'm talking about gold. Enough to keep Ron in trailers and you in therapy. Enough so that we can pay off that Mexican and get you back in town, oh. baby! Yeah! Oh, this better be <laughs> fucking good! Oh. <laughs> oh, Jesus! Fuck. Ah! Oh. Man, we've talked about this hygiene thing before, bro. I invite you into my home, this is how you repay me? It's like living with a fucking horny skunk. Get a boat and meet me under Rat and Canyon Bridge. I'll be on the earpiece. That's about the size of it! Make it a fast boat! Ah, the logistical mind of Trevor Phillips. 
So it's like gold bricks on board, right? Sometimes. This is a high-value courier service run by <laughs> Merriweather. Oh, Merriweather? Tranquilo, Mike. This ain't a weapons train. It's goods too valuable to insure for air travel train. Gold. Sometimes gold. Sometimes our work. Priceless antiquities. Sometimes enough for you, me, Ron, everyone. Fine. Like a mirage in the desert. Here's my train. Don't leave without me! Mike, oh yeah, another thing for your shopping list. We'll need some bombs. Okay, I'll pick them up when I'm back in the trailer. Back in the trailer? Where are you? We got work to do. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's why I'm getting changed. Whoa, 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 whoa. getting changed? What if, what have you turned into? <gasps> True! Conductor on this train. You on the water? Sure, just caught a fish. Let me know when you need me. Got it? Eat it? Be under that fucking bridge. When we go past Polito Station, whole of Merriweather's gonna be on to us. Under the bridge. Approaching the inlet now. I'll power through to the bridge. I'm living the life, my friend. This is quite a spot you pick. Enjoy it now, because it's about to start raining fire. Ten minutes ago! 
River, Vaminor. We got both on us. Nature, you're right. It's a beautiful thing. There's nothing natural about this. Nada. Get these boats off of us. Change clothes. You couldn't have done this without that weird vest thing. Chopper, right behind us. You feeling alive? Juice pumping through your glands. My glands are just fine without the crashing trains. Floating helicopters and sinking boats. There's somewhere we can pull up just down the coast. Whoa! Man, you work hard for your living. Boil it down for me. How much you think you make for a senseless killing, huh? Couple nickels? Times are tough. Have been since we put you in the ground. Hey, you had your savings that I couldn't access because you blew the identities. You know, there was nothing for Brad's defense. Transport's taken care of. Ron's dependable, you see. Oh, his and hers, huh? Because of your independent spirit. Hey, 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 hey! Hey, before you go, show me the loot. I... It's perfect. Perfect for fucking what? For squaring things with that Mexican psycho. We give him this, and you end your relationship with that little lady. Maybe we won't be dead men in Los Santos. I don't fucking see that Silicon City again. It'll be too soon. But this is my job, not your call to make. Nah, nah, your job. Fuck things up with the Mexican to begin with. My job, my score, get your own. Wait, you give me that case, I'll give you something bigger. What? Union Depository. Fuck off. Can't be done. I never said impossible. Just very difficult. Virgin suicidal? That a line you're afraid to cross? Come on, T. You remember the dreams? 
couple kids pulling jobs, the big one. I know, it sounded crazy back then, huh? But hey, you and me together again. With Lester and Franklin on board, we can do this thing, T. This ain't no dream no more. Yeah. Hey. You keep the case. Fuck me, okay? Hey! All right. Here. Keep that silly fucking thing. And you can keep Patricia as well, all right? Because I respect that lady and I ain't gonna hold her back. <sighs> Thank you. Just remember, I'm gonna be keeping my eye on you every inch of the way, all right? Of course. And if that bastard fucking cheats on her one more time, mm, I don't know what I'm gonna do. You know, Trevor, we both know you're not the marrying kind. But hey, it's great to be back in business, huh? Let's bring it on. The big one! The big one! Tally's on the line, too. Hey, Trev. All right. I need your whole crew over at Cape Catfish. We're moving on the chemical weapons plant. Nah, 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 nah. I just gave something to Lester. I need to deal with some stuff. Get back to Los Santos. Just, uh, give me a week. We got the equipment with your Polito money. The gangbanger's already on the way. The window's open, my friend, and you are jumping out of it. Shit. Shit! Los Santos ain't going anywhere, bud. Cab ASAP. Not a problem. A driver's on the way. I'll be here. Janski Mountain Range. That's the ride, my man. I haven't heard a fucking thing. Hey, that's fucked up, man. What's going on, ladies? Hello, Trevor. What kept you? Business, Michael, business. Uh -huh. All right? I'm the CEO of a big international corporation. It's very time-consuming. Nothing, of course, you'd understand, being a gentleman of leisure. Uh -huh. You know, you know, Franklin, <laughs> if there's one thing that you're gonna learn from being around us... Please just... fucking insanity. Then they can't fry you. If you want something done, go to the busy man. This rich fuck is useless. Uh -huh. oh, oh, hold on, man. Could y'all knock this shit off? Oh, look! Fucker. Boys, your boys, it's the feds. Hey, where's the other three? What other three? We told you to bring along six. This is a six-man job. No, you didn't. You Dave did? No, Dave didn't. You said you'd do it. That is a frickin' lie. I do not get things wrong. All right, great. Then we're out of here. Uh, uh, fuck uh, uh, it. Uh, uh, Let's go. You three can do it alone. And die, fuck you. You do your own dirty work. Hey, I do my dirty work every day, keeping the country safe from scum like you. And you're doing a great job, sir. Hey, you want this job done? Then come with us, huh? Come on, come on, Mr. Leisure Wear, Mr. Depressed Accountant. Let's go save America. Who the fuck are we saving it from this time? This is the real deal. My sources are convinced there's a plot in international affairs, you know, the agency. And they're using this facility to make a serious nerve toxin. Ah, <laughs> bullshit. Yeah. Which they plan in their mind-blowing insanity to let a major terrorist release on a metropolitan area so they can continue to get funding. Nothing increases funding for fighting terrorism more than successful acts of terrorism. <laughs> all, right, so, so, all right, so let me get this straight then. No, 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 there is no getting it straight. That's the point. 
Now we're doing this. You two are on getaway. Fuck off and make it happen. Michael, you're with us. What size flipper you wear? Agent Norton, been a while since you were in the field. The sight of you in neoprene is something we say for our worst enemies. Shut up, I'll be fine. And you, get in. You're driving. Go down the coast. The facility's a few clicks south of us. Listen to me, Steve. No wisecracks, got it? No fucking cliches. We're fighting for the freedom of the people today. Don't lecture me on patriotism. You've been living outside the system too long. Social responsibilities, a joke to you. So maybe I redeem myself, get killed in the process, huh? That old bullshit. No one is dying on my watch. Not even the burnout bank robber with temper issues and nothing to live for. A hero's death is too good for you. You'll die in the ignominy you deserve. This is the bay. We can get in through the discharge tunnel. Here goes!
Come on, get up the ladder. Born ready. Let's do this. Come on, Dave. What's the plan? Hey, hey, hey. We locate the toxin and action our escape strategy. That's what we got. Great. Lead the way. Bank robber, your job is to keep this covert and non-lethal as long as you can. Against the wall, quick! Oh, heck! Oh, heck! It's time this guy went to sleep, Michael. Can we go? Freeze! Now! Drop it! Okay, now hit the elevator. So what exactly does a neurotoxin look like? You're on a need-to-know basis, bank robber. Shut it. Elevator's coming down. Someone's on board. Out, out, out! <gasps> Collect a swipe card. All right, we go. How you feeling about this? I feel pretty damn fine. Yeah, if only your camera crew was here. Round to the right. Come on. We're fine. Move on. You see the lab gigs? I don't want trouble from these two. <laughs> They're down. Let's go. Corridor goes around to the left. Stay against this wall. Security is scheduled to come through here. Make a judgment call. I dare you. Just a little pinprick. What can a pinprick do? Ask the monkey. Go on. A tiny amount on your hand. <laughs> Clear. We move forward. Use the card on that swiper. Exit. Lab rat in the cage up ahead should have the secret sauce. Come on. Give us access. You won't get in here. He's got the locking system overridden from in there. Pause it. We got company. I'm on it. You, hands up. Back up. Back up. And freeze. We get collateral. You might be safe, but Big Brain here isn't. Open! The special agents have the door. Go in there and secure our nerve agent. Get moving, now! This will make me... the most dangerous man in the country. I'm also the most shit scared. Oh, man. Thank you, federal government. These scientists have done enough good work for today. Put them to sleep. Damn it! We need to get the nerve agent into a refrigeration unit. Security alert! Security alert! Facility breached. You got the right weapon? This shit's about to get real. Are you agent? What's my name? Let's keep moving. I'm through here. Everyone thinks they're the good guy. Let's go, let's go! Another guard! Poor bastard! Left! We need to be gone before the whole place gets shut down! Corridor goes around to the left! Asshole! Don't shoot me! I'm carrying nerve toxin! It's here! Do the door! 
ships have seen. Let's get moving, people! Move away from the door! Wait! Grab Stay over there! Come on! A distress signal will have been sent out. Expect reinforcements. The military? Great! units in that container. Here we go. Get her on ice before the sell-by. Okay, steady. Ah, easy does it, Em. Just as I was getting used to having the apocalypse in my pocket. There you go. Phillips is on his way. Good. Get this thing ready to move. I'm just a couple of clicks out! Is the package ready? Package is ready! Get over here, man! I can't believe they spent the tank from the Polito job on this chopper! It's a flying pig rig! And we need a flying pig rig right now! Man. So the chemical weapon in there, right? If it even is a chemical weapon, hell, it could be shaving cream for all I know. By the way, next time you're getting wet. Oh, but there won't be a next time, will there, Davey? There never is. I'll do my best for you. I always try. Yeah, well, maybe this time we'll get lucky. Maybe this time Steve will succumb to the strains of enhanced interrogation techniques. Interrogate him? Are you insane? They're probably decorating him right now. 
Hey, Davey, your boys at the agency are on to you, remember? Huh? You and Stevie. Just try and keep your heads down. Yeah, putz. Who's this? Oh, fucking A. Yes! What's up, man? My days in the wilderness are over. Lester, he settled up with that crazy Mexican motherfucker. Gave him the artifact. <laughs> now, as long as Trevor handles the wife, we're good. But what about him, man? Yeah, fuck him. He likes the desert. Besides, we do one big score, we're all gonna have to go our own separate ways anyway. Oh, man. I can't wait to get back to that movie studio. <laughs> Yo, all right, man. Well, shit, I'll holler at you later then, all right? What a shit show. I'll tell you what, you could take this desert and stick it. My life may be a world of pain, but from here on out, it's gonna be cool, comfortable, air-conditioned pain. <laughs> take it easy. I had a wonderful time, Trevor. But we both know I made a vow to my husband. I know! You have a great pain inside you. But you are a beautiful man. I've never been so happy and so sad in my life. You have a beautiful way with words. For some... Sorry, everyone I love abandons me. I am not abandoning you. I am going home. You treat you. I know. I know. No. Stay. You better treat her right, man! I will, amigo! Yeah, otherwise... The other ear! Of course! The way I see things, you and me and Michael, we're, we're friends now. Good friends! Such good friends that we will make a great effort to avoid one another. That's fucking perfect. Uh, thank Michael for this statue. It is exquisite. Yeah. Yeah, I will. Stay where you are. I got a driver right around the corner. Glad to hear it. La Puerta. I'll get you there fast, buddy. Hey, we're here. I miss you already. The F word are you doing here? That's a funny way to greet your cousin. You ain't my G damn cousin, Trevor. I thought we was family. 
P please, just go and ruin somebody else's home furnishings. Who the F is that, Floyd? No one, my sweet. Hey, by any chance, did you catch crabs at that conference? <laughs> Floyd! I heard that those conferences are regular little fuck fest, huh? Can I come in? Huh? I'd like you to leave mm. right now. Oh, yeah. Some serious corporate gangbanging going on, right? Yeah, with every executive and director of communications from here to Bangalore taking it left, right, and center in the name of team training, right? I mean, now that's what Floyd told me yesterday as he was staring at my, uh, my penis. I want you to leave now! Look, this is all I've got, all right? I had a tough upbringing. My daddy was not nice to me, okay? Now look, Deborah, I love you and I love you too, Floyd. Why can't we all just be together, huh? You can have Mondays through Thursdays. You can have the weekends, all right? I know that's not normal, but in this crazy, crazy world, is normal so good, huh? Look, Deborah, Floyd, will you marry me? Get out of my condo! And you go too, Floyd. I told you, I've got a career. I don't need this, this, this crap. Yes! There. <laughs> you made me swear. You're crap, Floyd. Crap! <laughs> You're not a man at all. <laughs> Bob's right about you. Oh, who's Bob? I want both of you to go now. You and your weird friend. Whoa! Hey! My name is Trevor, sweetheart. I could give a fuck what your fucking name I'm not afraid to use this. I'm not. Bob taught me. Fuck Bob! You people are not very fucking nice! Oh, hey there, Trevor. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Mm, hey there, Wade. Did you meet Gebra? Interesting lady. I should probably go say hi. I wouldn't. Why not? Let's go get in the car, all right? Let's go have the time of our lives. I know just the place. I could run in and get Floyd and Gebra. I know she seems kind of uptight, but she can have fun. Mmm, no. I don't think she can, Wade. Just Floyd, then? Floyd's gonna meet us there. Floyd's trip? Exactly. Oh, Trevor, maybe you got all over yourself. You're all red. You got, you got syrup? Yeah. Syrup. Accidents. We've all been there. We sure have, but... But it don't taste like syrup. Don't taste me, all right? Just no licking. Okay. Hey, you remember when we met? Sure. Last year. I was on the way to the gathering with Daisy Bell and Kush Chronic and... And you stopped in Sandy Shores to get lit and you met a dealer and he looked after you when your friends had abandoned you. That was weird, weren't it? The last time I saw him, it was with you driving out to the quarry, and then they just disappeared. Poof, right? I mean, they were gone. Some friends, right? And now Cousin Deborah don't want you around. I mean, there's a pattern here. The condo did get messy. The pattern is you can't rely on anyone, anyone except me. Look, this is it. So this is where Floyd is going to meet us, a strip club? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That guy like him. He's a real homebody. He loves that apartment. Interestingly, you and me, we got a new home. Where? <laughs> here. Mm, right here. Here? Mm, here. Now, I know it's unconventional, but that's the way we roll, homie. Hey, you two. You two, I want you to give this boy a good time for a long time. Hey, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Tell me where the manager is for this fine establishment. Through there and take two doors to the right. Mm -hmm. Through there. To the right. Thank you. Amigo! 
Prepare to meet your new partner. 